Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill, and this is Evening Prayer for Saturday, March the 12th. It's the first week in Lent, and week three in the Psalm Cycle. Please join me. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Amen. Psalm 139, and please recite it with me. My God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. You understand my thoughts from afar. You know my walking and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word on my tongue, but you, O God, know it altogether. You have beset me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high and I cannot attain it. Where can I hide from you? Where can I run from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in hell, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness will cover me, the night shall be light around me. Even the darkness is not dark for you, but the light shines as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to you. For you have created my inmost being. You have stitched me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. I know them well. My body was not hid from you when I was in, made in secret and curiously wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Your eyes beheld my body unfinished in the womb, and in your book all my members were written, which day by day were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. How precious are your thoughts to me, O God! How great is the sum of them! If I should count them, they are more in number than the grains of sand. Would I awake, I am still with you. Surely you will slay the wicked, O God. The bloodthirsty must depart from me. For they speak against you wickedly, and your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate them, O God, that hate you? And am I not grieved with those that rise against you? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, my God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there be any wickedness in me. And lead me in the everlasting way. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. My God, you have searched me and known me. You know my sitting down and my standing up. Amen. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. Think of us in this way as servants of Christ and stewards of God's mysteries. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found trustworthy. But with me, it is a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by any human court. I do not even judge myself. I'm not aware of anything against myself, but I am not thereby acquitted. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, do not pronounce judgment before the time before the Lord comes, who will bring to light the things now hidden in darkness, and will disclose the purposes of the heart. Then each one will receive commendation from God. I've applied all this to Apollos and myself for your benefit, brothers and sisters, so that you may learn through us the meaning of the saying, nothing beyond what is written, so that none of you will be puffed up in favor of one against another. For who sees anything different in you? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you received it, why do you boast as if it were not a gift? Here ends the lesson.
I thank you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. Amen. Psalm 138, and please recite it with me. I thank you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. I face your holy temple and praise your name for your loving kindness and for your truth, for you have glorified your word above all. In the day when I cried, you answered me and strengthened my soul. All the rulers of the earth shall praise you, O God most high, when they hear the words of your mouth. Yes, they shall sing of your way, for great is your glory. Though you are high, you respect the lowly, but the proud you know from afar. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you revive me. You stretch forth your hand against the anger of my enemies, and your right hand shall save me. You make perfect that which concerns me. Your mercy, O God Most High, endures forever. Forget not the work of your own hands. Amen. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. I thank you with my whole heart. Before the gods, I sing your praise. Amen. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 2, beginning at verse 23. One Sabbath, Jesus was going through the grain fields, and as they made their way, his disciples began to pluck heads of grain. The Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? And he said to them, Have you never read what David did when he and his companions were hungry and in need of food? He entered the house of God when Abithar was high priest and ate the bread of the presence, which it is not lawful for any but the priest to eat. And he gave some to his companions. Then he said to them, the Sabbath was made for humankind, and not humankind for the Sabbath. Though the Son of Man is Lord, even of the Sabbath. Again he entered the synagogue, and a man was there who had a withered hand. They watched him to see whether he would cure him on the Sabbath, so that they might accuse him. And he said to the man who had the withered hand, Come forward. And he said to them, Is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath? to save life or to kill. But they were silent. He looked around them, at them with anger. He was grieved at their hardness of heart, and he said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately conspired with the Herodians against him how to destroy him. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us. And for the intentions of those who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O oh, beloved Creator, we praise you for your wonderful works, and we thank you for our marvelous creation. You know everything about us before we even know ourselves. Cast our sins behind your back and lead us in your everlasting way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.